Oh man, it's been so hot recently. No wonder these fires keep spawning. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the working AC. And this thing is pretty great since it not only looks good, but cools you down too. And you know, some people don't have enough money to afford an AC in real life, so you might as well build one in Lumber Tycoon 2 and you'll feel cool anyway. As you can see, if you just flick this lever, ah, all that cool, cool ice comes out of that AC. It feels so, so good. Ah, anyways, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this. Um, oh, you're there. Okay, yeah. So let's see what you need for this epic build. For this build, you're going to need one smooth wall, six tiles, six small tiles, random bits of ice wood, not too big, a straight conveyor, and some hat. But help me, where, where do you get the hatches? They are not in wood. Or us, I decay. Where, we, where, do, we, do we are? Ah, uh, help, help me. Also, we have robots and. I would explain how to get to Link's Logics, but I don't know how. So I'm gonna leave it to my friend Jack to show you how. You need to leave Wood R Us and take the first right. Carry on straight ahead until you reach the ferry port. Once you arrive at the ferry port, board the ferry and speak to Hoover. Splash out on a $400 ferry ticket, sit back, relax and pray that Hoover doesn't glitch you out. The journey takes two minutes, with the ferry holding for a further seven minutes after arriving. Once the ferry has docked, follow the road and Lynx Logix will be in front of you. Thanks Jack! Anyways, you're gonna need two hatches, two neon wires, about six normal wires, a lever, and of course a space to build. You're also gonna need a smooth wall opening in your space to build. Anyways, let's see how you build it. To start building, you're going to want to take your small tiles. You're going to want to place them flush with the opening, but the game might not want you to, so you just have to build a little jig by placing one tile above your destination, and then place another tile, the one you're actually placing, underneath it. From there, you're going to take a straight conveyor and rotate it and place it in the hole in your wall. It should line up pretty good. Anyways, from there, you're going to take the smooth wall, and you're going to line it up with the hole in the wall. And I'm not good at placing it, hopefully you're a little better. Anyways, once you do that, you're going to grab a tile, place it on one side, take another tile, place it on the other side, and from there, you're ready to reload. Now, if you don't know what this means or how exactly to perform this, basically we're making invisible blueprints. And I have a video about this, so you should check it out, it's in a link in the description. Anyways, what you do need to know is which blueprints you're going to make invisible, which you are going to make some invisible. You're going to E move B on the straight conveyor, E move B on the tile, and E move B on the other tile. So now you should have something that looks like this. Anyways, from there you're going to take a small tile, turn it and place it just like so. And you may need a jig for this bit also, I needed a jig, so simply go into your blueprint book and grab their small tile and place your other tile on your small tile, like so. Anyways, from there, you're gonna take your lever, you're gonna rotate it and place it on t in between your two tiles. From there, you're gonna rotate this hatch, place it like so, and then place another hatch next to that existing hatch. From there, you're gonna wanna take some wires and wire your first wire up from your lever to your first hatch, like so. From there, you're gonna take your second wire and wire it up from the first wire to your second hatch activation point. Anyways, once you've done that, it's time to reload yet again. 
So, while I reload my base, I want to talk about my builds not working. First off, all of my builds work unless they say not working on them. Second off, if you guys are building something, don't just go into the comments and say, Electrotech, please help me, please help me build it, because I won't respond to those comments. If you do want help building it, join my Discord server and read the rules and you will see exactly what to do. Or you can always follow my Twitter, and from there I can message you about fixing it. But I will no longer read comments to help people fix designs. Anyways, let's get back into how to build. Anyways, you're going to need to e-move via lot. The conveyor, both the tiles, the, the two small tiles right here, the lever, the hatches, and the wires. If you don't get to the lever, it's fine, but you're also going to want to e-move be both the smooth walls. Now, if you can't do all of that in one reload, do half of it and then do it again. Anyways, all you're going to want to do for this bit is place down some tiles. You're going to want to place two tiles on the floor like I am doing right here. And your last two tiles above those tiles. So right here and right here. Make sure that they are one unit above the smooth wall. Anyways, from there you're simply going to reload for your final time, and this time you don't have to e-move be anything. Anyways, from there, it's all about cosmetics. You're gonna start by placing your first wire from this point to this point, giving enough space for your wood to pass underneath. From there you can wire up the rest of the wires however you would like. Once you've done all those wires, you're going to take neon wires and run them around the border of the AC. This gives it a little better look, but again, it's completely optional. Anyways, to load up your AC, simply move the smooth wall at the back and shove all of your bits of ice wood in. Make sure that they are small so that they aren't too big and they don't fit, but you want them to be a decent size. Anyways, from there you're going to take your smooth wall and simply put it back over and now your AC is locked and loaded. All you gotta do is flip the lever and it opens up spilling that cool cool goodness on you. Once again, if you have any issues with this design, join my Discord. Also, big thanks to Jack UK for helping me out. His channel is very underrated and linked below. Anyways, this is gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the build.